Hello all you beautiful people in Webtown and welcome back to Crypto Comics as we continue our exploration through DC Comics in the 1990s. More specifically, we have been venturing into a look at a few of the new creations of the 90s that were presented by DC in their efforts to keep up with Image and Marvel Comics. And this, uh, this is the third and final entry I'm going to do here this month, but I will be back with more DC Comics in the future. I'm sure this is Tachyon from June of 1996, issue number one. Nine princes in amber? What is this? Among a million shadow realms lies the one true world. Its throne is his to claim, if he can reach it alive. Nine princes, a.k.a. Val Kilmer in amber. Based on the classic fantasy novel, by Roger Zelazny, adapted by Terry Bisson. What? I don't, I don't, I don't know what Val Kilmer's doing there, but it looks interesting, different. Is that the He-Man font? I think that is the He-Man font. I'm dying! Not even 25 years old, but it's happening. Heart's stopping, lungs going cold. I feel it. I'm dying. Ah! Agony rips through me, slams me like a giant fist into the pavement. This isn't possible. Nothing wrong with me. I can't be dying. Just because I'm a blind guy hurts too much to be anything but death. Coming for me. Sudden and unexpected, on a warm spring afternoon in New York City, Joshua Sanders. Me. I'm dying. But I never got one last chance to play my harmonica and beg for change as a blind guy in New York. Huh? What's going on with that blind guy? Hey, look at that blind guy over there. I'm a psychologist. I should be able to detach myself from the pain and fear. Oh, help me. At that moment, all I can think is how incredibly unfair it is. I've tried too hard to be normal, to get along like I wasn't born blind, to have it all taken away, like anybody asked me. Uh, hey, mister, are you okay, pal? How come there's never a deaf superhero? Like, I mean, a blind guy can't even appreciate reading this. But I'm sure that deaf people probably love comics. If you or a loved one is deaf, please tell me if comic books are important in deaf culture in the comments below. Thank you. Hey, mister, you okay, pal? What am I asking for? Okay, just try and relax. We'll get you help. Then I feel the pull. It's strange, distant, somehow familiar. A feeling that pushes aside the fear. Someone call 911! Hang on, man! We'll. Oh my god! Ah! I only scream because it hurts like hell. But I'm not afraid. Just real curious to find out why anybody picked me to become a god. Then I know everything. The guy trying to help me? His name's Norman Krager. He's 52 years old, type A positive blood, once broke his right wrist has the beginnings of some serious heart disease. How do I know? I'm just a guy breathing his last on a New York sidewalk. I can't even see Krieger or anything else. But I know. Birth Pains, written by Paul Kupperberg, with art by the legendary Aaron Lopresti, featuring inks by Gary Martin, and colors by Lee Lowridge. I know how the universe was born. My mind reaches out, touching the delicate web of interlocking forces that spawned it, that set it in motion, that spin it across the eternal reaches of time space. For just that instant, as the pole draws me to it, my panic recedes and I understand it all. And then the lights. Joshua Sanders? Who? It's me, Jean-Claude Van Damme. I need your help. I'm going on a quest to a lost city. I am a man of destiny. I'm here to test your honor in a kumite. Kumite, kumite, kumite. For the first time in my life, the lights came on. I am Jean-Claude, high father of New Genesis. Oh no, his name is Isaiah. But we can make him sound like Jean-Claude, right? I am Isaiah, high father of New Genesis. 
I have chosen you for a labor upon which depends the fate of all that is and all that shall be. I, is this sight? I mean, am I, am I seeing you? It's kind of hard not to get caught up in the moment. I mean, take it from my point of view. My God, this is incredible. I can see everything. True. I've just died. Been brought to what I have to assume is heaven. But I was born blind. I've never seen. Don't even know what sight is. Attend me, Joshua Sanders. Time is short and there is much to be said. Very well, Joshua. Let it be thus. Scrat! For there is no time for your ah, warranted though it may be. You are a man without sight, without a destiny, whose removal from the moral plane teaches nothing. <laughs> Scott Summers attack. But whose elevation to tachyon of the source grants you a destiny that will touch the universe. You are my chosen champion. The integrity of the source, the very heart of all that is in the universe, has been breached. The source itself, tainted. See the New Gods, issue number two. What's any of this got to do with me? Because the source must be purged of this disease. You are untouched by the fates. You are clean of the conflicting sides of light and dark. You have been both cursed and blessed by a lack of sight that now makes all things visible to you. You have been handed care of tomorrow. The power cannot be denied. Wrong. This can't be happening. How could it be? Stuff like this doesn't happen to guys like me. You die, you go through a long tunnel toward the light, a choir angel sings, and kaboom, you're in heaven. God doesn't usually greet you to diss your place in the universe, then send you zooming through the cosmos. I'm just an ordinary working man, doing my time as a staff psychotherapist at a New York hospital. <laughs> no, that's not true. It's not a matter of doing time. I like my work, for all the usual cliches. Hey Josh, a bunch of us are going for lunch. Wanna come? And one specific reason. Yeah, I'd love to, uh, but I've got to finish up some reports. Oh, okay, can, can I bring you something back? Nancy. Oh man, when she hears... Wait, I thought I was remembering this. But I'm actually here. Well, duh, you're always here, Josh. You really should come with us. Um, no, no, Nancy, I, I really can't. Understand, I'm here, in, in my office. I worry about you, Josh. If I didn't remind you, half the time you'd forget to eat it all. But also here, in a piece of tomorrow, only it's also now, and it's horrible. Nancy! And it gets worse, because I'm also in this instant of the infinite, now wielding power that makes my head spin, weaving together strands of gravitational and magnetic fields to create a black hole leading to the source. Every minute, every second is the same. The source? I can separate them, but they're all in order. I can reach out and touch any of them and make it the instant, but they're too many. Every emotion at once, every touch, smell, sight. Oh God, what sight? On top of each other, infinity. Yesterday, today, tomorrow, today, yesterday, tomorrow, the same. The dreamer, the thunder, the bat, the eagle, the angel, whose will be done when kingdom come. By Mark Wade and Alex Ross. Coming up in the distant future on Crypto Comics. Batman, Dark Legends. Never heard of it, so it won't be coming up in the future on Crypto Comics. What was as vivid as what is and what will be? You can't do this. He's an innocent. I won't let you take him, no matter what the consequence. You have no say in this, Tachyon. Tachyon? The cosmic forces ripple, and I'm suddenly in both moments at once. His death has nothing to us. We are his gods. And the future shall be decided here, now. What will be? You fool. Oh, wait, that's Jean-Claude. You fool. You have failed. Under victory to the forces of darkness. All is lost. Lost. I should have done it myself. I should have never relied on you, Dolph Lundgren. I reach out, break from the forces holding me, and seek something that I can grasp. 
and I touch this moment as near as I can come to the final moment I had as Josh Sanders. I'm here where it started, where it was started. Oh man, it's all too mixed up. Can't think, like, I don't know everything I know, except the knowledge is still there. Just can't get to it. But I look friggin' awesome with a flaming head. And I'm the tachyon of the source. Tachyon? How can I not know? Holy jeez, it's the tachyon of the source. Did you, uh, I mean, what the hell's happened? You okay? Uh, well, what? I mean, your head's on fire and you're in a, like a beautiful spandex costume that goes from head to toe. I, I'm not even sure where the zipper is on it. I'm, uh, I'm fine, Mr. Krieger. What have I become? Nothing like the man I was. Don't feel like a man at all. Nothing's normal anymore. Not even my level of normalcy. <laughs> Great writing. Uh, do, do I know you, mister? No, no you don't. I'm a blind guy who sits in an office and listens to a parade of disturbed people pour out their troubles. That sound like any kind of hero to you? My ring's powering down. Whoa! It's back. Oh, excuse me, folks. I almost crashed into you. Must have been a local energy damping field. I wonder who. Or what. Could it be? The tachyon of the source? Ha <laughs> ha Just wait and see. There's only one way to find out, isn't there, ladies and gentlemen? And that's for us to continue down this amazing path. But guess what? The tachyon of the source. He's finally going to come for Jean-Claude. We must go, Joshua Sanders. Before your presence here is detected. Come. Now. We have to make it to the Kumite. Damn it, old man. Leave me alone. You did this to me. And if you won't undo it, let me have my life back. Let me be a blind guy again. Now the magnetic field starts rippling, pulsing, but I ignore it. Stop! <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, it's better than Aztec, I guess. I've been on the lookout for anything odd. You sure fit the bill. Kyle Rayner. I'm sorry, Kyle, but I'm not doing this on purpose. Believe me. How do you know my name? Hey, what are you doing to me? What? Why, why is it suddenly getting hazy? Oh, giant magnet. So much for the friend or foe question. Starman, sand, stars, and mist. Two separate adventures bound by chains of time. Believe it or not, no one cares. Let's face it, that Starman movie, though, with Jeff Bridges, oh, that was the inspiration for the first Thor movie. The pinky and the brain, the pinky and the brain. One is a genius, the other is insane. Trust me, pinky. This is what it takes to be big in comics. Mm -hmm. Padded bra, there it is. Don't get confused, no. No, if you weren't alive when this came out, this, this, was, this used to be comedy for men to dress up in women's clothes is funny back then. Anyway, let's have a big fight. I just showed up out of nowhere. I'm Kyle Rayner. I can create a chain out of my Green Lantern ring. Oh, I can break your chain. I can get really upset. Oh, I can make a poop face. I'm pooping. I'm pooping. Don't let go. Focus on her. Make her my reason to hold on. The gift cannot be denied, Joshua Sanders. The voice, not right. It's not Nancy's. Jean-Claude! You must open yourself to the power. For you are one with the ebb and flow of the source. It feels you. It is you. And you, it. You must become the Lionheart. Oh, oh no, I don't, I don't want it! I know this, Joshua Sanders. And for that I am truly sorry. But I was forced to act out. And yours was the first soul I found which fulfilled the needs of the Tachyon. You have no choice. You are the power. Did it. Accept it. Wait. He has pierced my defenses. He senses I am here. You have delayed too long. I must leave you, Joshua Sanders. For if he finds me here, he will surely destroy you. And then all will be lost. 
You are the last best hope for the universe, but you must learn the way for yourself. Farewell. He leaves, but I don't care because I just want it all to stop. Power in me, around me, through me. I want to be blind again, deaf and mute. Power reaches out through me, using it, using me. Stop all this craziness. Crush it flat. Power. Blind again. Through me. Deaf. Is me. Mute. Killing me. Dead. I'm dying. I'm dead. I just transported an aircraft carrier to the top of the skyscrapers. I am... The Living Philadelphia Experiment. It's a movie. You, don't, you can watch it. It's all right, you know. Kind of like that uh, Deja Vu with Denzel. Remember that one? That was pretty good, actually. Better than this comic book, that's for sure. The Big Book of Little Criminals. Busted out in May. Little men, big ideas, tough luck. Well, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Oh! Doug to April. There he is, Doug in exile. He's worming his way onto video cassette. You get this limited edition Earthworm Jim action figure. I bet that's the one that's worth the most money on all of them. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is a real piece of trash. Started strong, but uh, kind of just got lost in a mire of melancholy emotion. You know, he turned into a real Billy Corgan face here with his melancholy and his infinite sadness. In total, there were seven horrifying issues of Smashing Tachyons. And uh, man... What a disappointment. Guy with an awesome flame head and she's got nothing. Got nothing to really offer. No wonder it only went for seven issues. Obviously they they thought it was gonna do something and no, no, not at all. Like too introspective and not in a fun way. But I am always happy to make you beautiful people out there suffer along with me as I read through some real crappy comics sometimes by accident when they boy do they sure look cool though, right? Like Jeez, this was uh, this uh, yeah, this this was equally as bad as uh, Aztec. Maybe the writing in this was better than Aztec. I got I can't believe how bad that Aztec was with such a good cover. <sighs> breaks my heart. Oh, it breaks my heart. But I'm always happy to share my experiences from the fifty cent back issue bins with all of you in Webtown. If you'd like something better to read, I'd highly recommend you go to EnterTheLostLibrary.com and check out any of the amazing books written by yours truly. But before you surf over there, hit that thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe, then hit this bell and one of you will be randomly selected to have your head set on fire, just like Tachyon. But don't worry, because they have Wi-Fi in your local burn victim ward, so you'll be able to tune in here to Crypto Comics while you're healing. And I promise, I will be there with you during the healing process, not directly in the room, but here at Crypto Comics, as you peruse the back issue bins of our playlists. While waiting for the next totally awesome or somewhat lackluster review of another unique comic from the 1990s right here at Crypto Comics.